When I was first approached with the script, I was like, I love this role. However, I'm not doing it unless it's Terrence Howard. I am proud to announce that Empire Entertainment has filed to become a publicly traded company on the New York Stock Exchange. I got a call from Lee Daniels, and he said that he has something for me. Our world of Empire Enterprises, which is the story of Lucius Lyon and this great company he has built from scratch, having grown up poor in the Philly ghetto, and he has come to discover that he's dying. You got ALS. <sighs> How long I got? Three years, most likely less. All he wants is for this great empire that he's built to live on long after he's gone. Now, part of us going public means ensuring a legacy for this company after I'm gone. I will start choosing a successor, and it can only be one of you. Does successor talk have anything to do with Cookie? What you talking about, Cookie? I haven't spoken to her since she got out. I figured you had. Cookie's out. Cookie throws the entire show off balance because you've got these characters that are extremely wealthy, that have been living at the top of the 1%. They're not only incredibly rich, but they're incredibly famous. Then all of a sudden comes their mother, who's been in prison for the last 17 years. I went away for a long time for you to build all of this. I miss my sons growing up. I'm gonna make some things right. Lucius is a very complex man. He's riddled with guilt. Sometimes you may have to make strong choices to save your family and yourself. And a lot of powerful and successful men and women have had to make those choices. If they can learn from Lucius's mistakes, maybe the world would be a little better. Something's got you shook, Lucius. Like it's chasing you. Whatever it is, you're trying to hide it. But you know you can't hide from me. You can't hide from me, Lucius. I think Lucius cares about two things, his family and his money, and he doesn't mess with the money. To the Empire! To the Empire!